Good day, Mr. Billy. This is the Strategic Audit for Century Pacific Food Incorporation. I am Alvarez Tamil. I am Angit Arandia. I am Marilu S. Barquilla. I am Jessica Bibit. I am Jefferson Espeon. I am Trisha May Makili. I am Michelle Panagsagan. From BSHM 4E. For Chapter 1, Current Performance, the ROA is equals to 9.64%. Next is the market share from 2016 to 2020. Next is profitability. The gross profit margin is equals to 21.55% and the net profit margin is 5.69%. And the last, the EBITDA margin is equals to 8.36%. Next. Century Food Pacific Vision Statement is being socially responsible by big organization of enterprises that feeds and satisfies the customers with healthier food and beverage through manufacturing excellence, nutrition expertise, statement provides the organization with a clear and effective guide for making decisions to reinforce current businesses and brands, strengthen the organization, pioneer the development of healthier and tastier food and beverages, and also scale up the business across the globe. Next. The company objective is to provide products of high quality and superior value responding to the rising need of our customer. Chapter 2, Corporate Governance. The firm sustained an active and productive member each member has specific role to perform to fulfill their assigned task. There is top-to-bottom flow of information and decision that will help maintain the steady flow of information inside the company and to be able to know what's going on in different departments. Next. Chapter 3, External Environment. Task Environment, Threats of New Entrants. The first is Tita Rosa Food Product, established year 2007. Their products are Spanish sardines, Tongus Gourmet, dried fish, sardines bread, and many more. Second is Ocean Source Trading Company, established year 2003. They are the distributor of King's Crab Meat, food and beverage, frozen canned food, fresh seafood products, fruit juices, and many more. The last is the North Star Trading, established year 2008. They are engaged in wholesaling and distribution. Their products include mineral water, grains, dry, dried foods, frozen processed meat, fish and seafood, dried fish, canned drinks, and etc. Bargaining powers of buyers. First is wholesaler. Second workers. The third is students. Threats of substitute product or services. The first is Sarangani Bay Prime Bangus, started year 1988. It is the Philippines' largest exporter and processor of premium bangus as well as other processed seafood products. Second, Bumblebee Seafood, born in 1899. A this is a company that produces canned tuna, salmon, and other seafood. The last one is the 7-Eleven Dusog Mil Tuna Omelette. It is a convenience store. Store started in 1927. They offer food and beverages as well as ready to eat food like tuna omelette. Bargaining power of suppliers. Majestic Press Incorporation and GMTC Packaging, which are supplying packaging materials. Other raw materials are supplied and produced of the century itself. Next. For its competitors, the CDO Foods Fear Incorporation, Del Monte, and San Miguel Foods, which are the companies that are also uh, manufacturing processed products or processed goods. Next. EFAS. External factors, opportunities, donation marketing strategy, 0.14, increasing demand, 0.30, health promotion, 0.24, innovative inventory, 0.20, company partnership, 0.60, with a total weighted score of 1.48. Next. Threats, unplanned lockdown effects, weighted score, 0.20, purchase limit, 0.10, market deterioration, 0.20, Toxicity effects, 0.30. Lack of control system, 0.60. The weighted score is 1.40. Next. Chapter 4, Internal Environment. Internal Factor Analysis Summary. The strength is creating a solid solution. The weighted score is 0.20. Leaders with expertise, 0.60. Systems high quality, 0.30. Teamwork, 0.20. Communication media literacy, 0.15, with a total weighted score is 1.45. Internal factor analysis summary. Weakness, unresolved situation, weighted score 0 0.10, lack, lack of strategy plan 0 0.60, poor quality control 0 0.60, distracted employees 0 0.7, time, time management issue 0 0.16, the total of 1.53. Chapter 5, ESPAS, Strategic Factors Analysis Summary. 
Static factor leaders with expertise weighted score 1.25, system high quality 0 0.80, lack of strategic plan 0 0.20, poor quality control 0 0.40, increasing demand 0 0.10, company partnership 0 0.10, lack of control system 0 0.45, toxic seed effect 0 0.10, total of weighting score 3.45. Mission analysis. All criteria has been met. Next. In mission analysis, all of the criteria, criteria has also been met. Next. Strategic problems or concerns. Leaders with expertise, system high quality, poor quality control, and lack of control system. Strategic objectives to manage the company well to provide good items to the consumers to, redu to reduce loss or defects of the products to secure the items and avoid shortage. Chapter 6, Strategic Alternatives and Recommended Strategy. Under the threats, toxicity effects, and lack of control system. Under the opportunities, increasing demand and company partnership. Under weakness, lack of strategic plan and poor quality control. Under the strength, leaders with expertise and system high quality. Recommended strategy, improve the facilities of the employee's workspace and be organized and focused. Also, collaborate with your team to build more production and, and ensure the quality of products. Next. Chapter 7, Implementation. First strategy with the pro programs of monthly meetings for employees with a budget of 15,000. The duration is 2020 to 2023. And the second is hire seasonal workers with a budget of 1 million with a duration of 2021 to 2022, and the last team buildings activity activities with a budget of 20,000 and duration 2020 to 2023. Programs, create, uh, create access information via VA in any electronic devices, budget 10,000, duration 2020 to 2023, and timely routine inspect avoid fewer large-scale repairs, budget 10,000, duration 2020 to 2023. And plus, upgrade quality system, budget 15,000, duration 2020 to 2020. The third recommended strategy, the program is promote awareness of budget 10,000, duration 2020 to 2023. The next program is brightness and lighting, open windows and national lighting, budget is 10,000, duration 2020 to 2023. The last one is kick off the new policy by developing workplace. Budget is 30,000, duration 2020, 2022. Next. Chapter 8, Evaluation and Control. For the first strategy, program monthly meetings for employees from information office, feedback system of performance appraisal, KPI better job performance. Hire seasonal workers from human resource, feedback system of performance appraisal, KPI of number of hired seasonal workers, team building activities from corporate affairs, feedback system of com communication and coordination efficacy, KPI of work flexibility of employees. Next. For the second recommended strategy, program create access information via PM or PM to any elect PM to electronic devices from finance office, feedback system, operation and procedure ratings, KPI minimal technical problems. Second is timely routine. Timely routine inspect avoid fewer large scale large scale repairs from corporate business service. Feedback system maintenance evaluation KPI better product quality. And the last one is upgrade quality system from corporate engineering. Feedback system operations and procedure ratings and the KPI is number of qualified candidates minimal technical problems in the workspace. Next. The third recommended strategy, the programs, well, the program promote wellness, MIS, supply chain and logistics, feedback, performance appraisal, KPI, clean workspace, second, brightness and lighting open, windows and natural light, MIS, operation office, feedback, improved lighting and ventilation on workspace, KPI, productive workplace and less supervision. The last, kick off the new policy by decluttering Workspace, MIS, Information Office, Feedback, oper Operations and Procedure Writings, KPI, Reduce Risk at Workplace, and Reduce and Risk Reduction at Workplace. Thank you so much.